Hi there, and thank you so much for stopping by. Welcome to my channel, Disney Fan in Japan. I am so happy to say that Tokyo Disney Resort has finally, finally released food themed merchandise. As in, I have been watching the US parks release food related merchandise for the longest time now and wishing and hoping and dreaming that those would make their way to Japan and Tokyo Disney finally answered those prayers. Tokyo Disney Resort is definitely a late player to the food theme merchandise game. There was a little hint of it and somewhat of a trickling around the mid of spring, but it was only very recently that they decided to go full out, as in, bam, all the merchandise just stocked on the shelves. So there was a lot of focus on like the sweets and the snacks that you can get around the trolleys and the wagons and the carts around the parks. But more specifically, the focus of this video will be on sweets themed merchandise. In particular, a merchandise series that they released called Pink Pop Paradise. Now with summer just coming around the corner, Tokyo Disney Resort started to release their summer merchandise in the middle of May. And the main theme of Pink Pop Paradise is ice cream. And I freaked out a little bit inside because ice cream is my go-to thing almost any time any season, I get strange looks for eating ice cream in the winter time outside. It is the one thing that I can eat even if I'm full. And there's a, actually a Japanese term for this that I wish we had in the English language and they call it betsubara. Betsubara literally translates into separate stomach. So ice cream is my betsubara, which means no matter how full I am, I will always have room to eat ice cream because I have a separate stomach for it. So naturally, I freaked out a little when I saw that Tokyo Disney Resort was doing a merchandise line that was focusing on ice cream, and I got myself a little haul from that series, which I will be sharing with you very soon in this video. Now the funny thing about the Pink Pop Paradise merchandise line is that Tokyo Disney Resort didn't release all of the merchandise at once. Instead, they kind of divided it into two waves. And the first wave came out around mid-May, and then the second wave came out around the beginning of June. I'm not really sure why Tokyo Disney Resort decided to release this particular merchandise line in two separate waves. Um, it's quite a rare thing for them to do as opposed to release it all at the same time. I just hope that they don't make this a habit because it makes it really hard for people to be able to get the merchandise that they want. Uh, I mean, not everybody can go to Tokyo Disney um, like every week, right? And I actually went to Tokyo Disney Sea around the end of May and I had one goal. One goal was to get a particular item that was part of the first wave. So that was one of the goals for that Disney trip, to get that candy tin. On the day of my trip, I went to the store. It was one of like the first things I did when I was at the parks because I knew following like Instagram and whatnot just how popular that particular container was. And so I went to the candy shop and went straight for the shelves that were carrying the Pink Pop merchandise and they were gone. And I couldn't believe it because it has just been a week since they released. I didn't know if they were going to restock, there was no set date, and it was all gone from the online stock, which meant I couldn't order it off of the shopping app. But strangely enough, it was only in Tokyo Disney Sea that they had sold out of this particular item. Disneyland still had stock of it, but I had no time and no plans to go over to Disneyland just to get that one particular item. So I went home a little bit disappointed that I missed out on it. And then a week and a half later, browsing on Instagram, I noticed that they had restocked it. And so I jumped on that opportunity really quick. I went through like a personal shopper. Yes, even I have to go through a personal shopper to get Tokyo Disney merchandise, even living in Japan, because I don't particularly live near the parks. So I made that happen so fast because I didn't want to miss out on that again. And fortunately, around the time it was being restocked, the second wave of the Pink Pop Paradise merchandise line was also coming out and I also took that opportunity to get myself a pass case because I also had an inkling that that pass case would sell out so fast. And true enough, within a few days of the second wave release, it was gone almost park-wide. It was definitely gone on the online shop stock. 
So I was like, this is kind of stressful to be keeping up with um, Tokyo Disney merchandise. So basically what I'm trying to say is when I went on my trip, I was able to get a couple of things from the first wave and I was waiting for the second wave release so that I could do one haul video as opposed to two separate videos. So I had to play the waiting game for a little bit and keep track of the stock of the second wave, which was quite hard because the first wave release had a lot of edibles. and. Those have been staring at me in the face for like the longest time. And my poor hubby, I forbade him from touching them because opening them meant ruining the packaging. And so I wanted to keep it all intact for the filming. Um, so we have been staring at these sweets for so long. And fortunately, I was finally able to get a hold of the things I wanted from the second wave. They came and now I have them all together for this video. Now more than half of the haul are edibles and I'm finally happy to be able to film this so that I can finally get to eating it. And the first edible is this. Just by looking at this, I bet you can figure out why they call it Pink Pop Paradise because it has a lot of like pop colors to it. I am loving the color scheme. It's a pink and teal color scheme. And like I said, the particular theme of this merchandise line is ice cream. And these are lollipops in the design of a Mickey shaped ice cream. So here in the top it says too good to miss and then over here it says too sweet to stop. In the middle is the name of this particular merchandise line, Pink Pop Paradise. You can see that the Mickey head is kind of dripping to symbolize that it is of an ice cream theme. And at the bottom it says here Tokyo Disney Resort. There are five lollipops in here and they come in three different flavors. According to the packaging, the two teal ones are chocolate mint flavored and then the two pink ones are strawberry cheesecake flavored and in the middle only one of its kind is cookies and cream flavored. Ooh, that's interesting. Those are definitely ice cream flavors and I find it so interesting that they would be able to capture it in candy form. Let's open it up so that we can take a closer look at one of the ice cream lollipops. I just cut it open and already I feel like I died a little inside because Tokyo Disney packaging is just so amazing and so cute. I want to keep this design forever, but it's made to be disposable, so it's a shame, really. So the inside looks like this and it's attached to a cardboard backing in order to keep the lollipops upright. A really nice touch, I think. That's Tokyo Disney level. They think of like um, fine details of things to maintain packaging quality. Each lollipop packaging design is uniquely different. There's either one of Mickey or Minnie on the front and only the cookies and cream lollipop is of both of them. I am really digging their costumes. You can see that Minnie has a skirt that is supposed to resemble ice cream. And here Mickey has like waffle cone shoes and a hat and so does Minnie. And Mickey has like a chocolate mint color theme going on and Minnie has a strawberry cheesecake um, color theme going on which is very appropriate because they are essentially representing the flavors of the ice cream lollipops. And they also have plush merchandise depicting Minnie and Mickey in these costumes. I'm sorry to say that I can't open these because I'm planning to give some of these away to friends but I will try to give you a closer look to what the actual candy looks like. I'll just push this one up. You can see that there's that lollipop stick and then here is the lollipop head. There is a cone on the bottom and on the top here is the ice cream part. Uh, it is Mickey shaped and it is chocolate mint so it has a teal and chocolate rings around it. The next one is strawberry cheesecake flavored so it has a cream colored base to represent the cheesecake and the pink rings to represent the strawberry. And finally this is the cookies and cream um, the flavored lollipop. So there's a cream colored Mickey head ice cream and a ring of brown to represent the cookies part. The next edible is in this bucket. This very cute very lovely pop design bucket. Again featuring Mickey and Minnie and their ice cream themed costumes. Pink Pop Paradise right up here and then there's like a waffle cone background with blue stripes and true to Tokyo Disney Resort merchandise. The side of it is also awesome. There's a lot of neat little details that are decorating the side of the bucket. You have ice cream here, then there's a Mickey shaped waffle, some of the slogans that they're using. Again more ice cream. There's Minnie. 
This one here says Fun Disney Pop and it's the same design that is basically scattered around the bucket. And Tokyo Disney Resort right here. This bucket is paper and I guess I would prefer for it to be plastic or even metal so that I will be able to use a container for long term. The fact that it's paper means it's not meant for long term use unless you take very good care of it and I don't think I can do that. So I'm a little sad about it but it's still very adorable nonetheless. I love the design, I love the packaging. It is Tokyo Disney merchandise quality after all. So according to the packaging information, inside this bucket is popcorn. There are two flavors. There are four bags of chocolate mint flavored popcorn and then four bags of strawberry flavored popcorn. That's super interesting because I have tried strawberry popcorn at the parks, but chocolate mint is definitely new. It's not a thing. As far as I recall, it hasn't ever been released as a flavor at the parks, but I could be wrong. This is a new flavor for me though. Um, they do have chocolate flavored popcorn at the parks and there's kind of a funny story and a running joke between me and my husband in regards to chocolate popcorn because the chocolate popcorn actually doesn't taste like chocolate as in it's not sweet, it doesn't taste sweet at all. In fact, it tastes more like burnt cocoa powder. And so the running joke between me and my husband is that we call it not chocolate chocolate popcorn. So anytime something that claims to be something something flavored but doesn't actually taste like what it claims to be, we rename it and add a not in front of the flavor. So for us, even to this day, we call the chocolate popcorn at the Tokyo Disney Parks not chocolate chocolate popcorn. So trying the chocolate mint popcorn will be very interesting. I'm wondering if it will actually taste like chocolate mint or be not chocolate mint chocolate mint. Alright, I cut the tape of one side and you'll get to see it first as I open it up. Oh, that's neat. It's all packaged very nicely. Okay, let me just cut the other end of the tape. So as you can see here, the four on top are the chocolate mint and the four on the bottom are the strawberry flavored popcorn. Naturally, I'll be doing a taste test on camera for science. Um, <laughs> but first, let's take a look at the packaging. Here is the icon for that merchandise line, the Pink Pop Paradise. And just to assure you that it is mini, there is her bow right here and the waffle background extends to the back and there's a little face of her in the corner in Tokyo Disney Resort on the side. I'm trying the strawberry one first because that is a safe flavor having had eaten the actual popcorn at the parks. Oh, the smell is so good. It's not sickeningly sweet. You know how there's like an overwhelming sweetness flavor sometimes when you open up um, treats? But this is a nice smell. Now I hope it tastes just as sweet. That's good. I'm so happy with this. They nailed it. It's not overly sweet and it's not overly strawberry. It's quite subtle. And there's quite a bit of popcorn here in this small bag. So this is definitely good for like a sitting and it's really nice for like a treat. Oh wow, that is definitely good. Alright, let's try the chocolate mint. I need to kind of steal myself for this. But first, the packaging. It's Mickey on the front with the same icon here. And there's his hand. And the same waffle cone background. Alright, let's open this up. It's blue. Can you see that? The popcorn is not teal as I thought it would be because chocolate mint flavor is usually like tealish, but it's very blue. I don't see any hints of green. There are some brown speckles scattered around the popcorn though. I believe that's supposed to be chocolate. It's very blue. And you can see some of the chocolate bits in there. All right, let's have a taste. Mmm. <laughs> it smells artificial. Doesn't smell anything like mint or chocolate. Doesn't taste anything like mint or chocolate either. 
I am not a big fan of this one. I am definitely for the strawberry. This one doesn't taste anything like chocolate mint. Which is really sad because one of my husband's go-to flavors is chocolate mint. And that's one of the reasons why I got this um, popcorn in the first place. So that he could have his chocolate mint and I could have my strawberry. But we'll see what happens when he gives it a shot. I hope he'll like it because we have four bags to go through. Oh. I'm gonna give it another shot because you know how sometimes the taste comes to you the second time? So let's see if that's the case with this one. Okay. I'm starting to taste a little bit more of the mint now, but it's still not anywhere close to what the chocolate mint flavor is supposed to be. I'm not really a big fan of the smell either. It smells very artificial. It doesn't smell like food. I officially dubbed this not chocolate mint, chocolate mint popcorn. But in the end, I don't think this is one of those things where I'll be happily eating this in one sitting. It's more like, yeah, I'll be happy with just like one bite. Once again, here's what the packaging looks like side by side. Chocolate mint and strawberry popcorn. Still, love the packaging design. Alright, that was a trip. And now is the time to show you the candy canister that I was desperate for. Check this out. Can this be any more perfect? Just based on the packaging alone, I love this! so much. This was the one that I missed out on when I went to Tokyo Disney Sea. As you can see, based on its design, it was crazy popular. It sold out so fast within a couple of days that they had to do a restock of it and that took a long time. It took about another week and a half before we saw these on shelves again. Now what surprised me about it is I thought it was all plastic but it's actually not. The top half is plastic and the bottom half is metal which means I can use this canister for long term and I am so happy about that. Now let's take a closer look. This is what caught my eye. The fact that there are hidden Mickeys in the center of the cookies. And in the back side, it's the same thing. Not only that, there's more hidden Mickeys scattered throughout the design, as you can see here in the chocolate chip. And in the heart-shaped waffle piece sticking out here, there is one, a smaller one, right in the middle. There are one, two, three, four, five, six hidden Mickeys alone on the top half of this ice cream. Yes! I love Hidden Mickeys. If there is one thing that I love about Disney, it's Hidden Mickeys in their merchandise. And then the bucket design has the same logo, the Pink Pop Paradise, and the same design as the popcorn bucket I showed you earlier, with the ice creams and the Mickey and the mini heads all around. Let me just move the tag out of the way. Um, I don't remember what's supposed to be in here. Let's take a quick check in the tag. Uh, all right, it's candy. There are 20 pieces of candy. 10 of them are strawberry cheesecake flavored. Oh, interesting. Not like the popcorn, which is only strawberry flavored. And 10 of them are chocolate mint flavored. All right. So I'm still willing to give this a second chance because it is a candy form. So it might be different compared to when it was popcorn form. So let's have a taste test. So, oh, that was not a clean open. <laughs> there goes the tag, but oh well. The top half, it's quite heavy. There's weight to this. Oh, it's so cute. I hope that one day they'll consider making an ear design out of this. I think it would just be super cute. Here's what the inside looks like. A lot of pink and blue. Mickey first, which is a chocolate mint wrapper. It's quite small, about the size of my thumb. And the candy is circular. Here's mini. Very pink candy. And of course it says Tokyo Disney Resort on the side of the wrapper. Okay, I'm going to start off with the chocolate mint because I don't want to have that aftertaste in my mouth just in case it tastes like non-chocolate chocolate mint. Oh, what an interesting color design. Uh, already I'm a little scared. That's a huge half of chocolate right there. 
and then the blue still not green or teal colored there's the chocolate half and the mint half all right here goes nothing mm -hmm. oh wow it's not half bad I can actually get hints of mint and I can actually taste the chocolate too but it's not overwhelmingly chocolate and if you like spin it around in your mouth you get like a mix of both sides which is really neat so you're actually creating a mixture of chocolate and mint in your mouth that actually tastes like chocolate mint so yay I am a fan of that so much more than the popcorn for sure so that was a success let's try the strawberry it has a much more uh, stripe looking design as opposed to the chocolate mint which is like half chocolate half mint the base of it is cream colored and it's decorated with pink clear stripes so I'm assuming that's the strawberry part and the cream color is the cheesecake part that was good I can definitely get hints of the cheesecake but it was more strawberry than cheesecake I like that it wasn't overwhelmingly cheesecake, otherwise I think it would have been quite strange. And it's distinctly unique compared to the popcorn flavor. A lot sweeter, and I would say a little bit more tart. So good. Definitely a hit. The popcorn was a miss for me. The strawberry though was good. Which is funny because I'm not really much of a strawberry flavored fan of things. Like I'm not the kind of person to go for strawberry ice cream. I actually don't really eat strawberry ice cream. Um, or even strawberry flavored candy or gum or... I, I just kind of find strawberry flavored things too artificially sweet. So it's kind of strange for me to be able to say I like the strawberry flavored popcorn and the candy and really the only strawberry flavored thing we have right now in this house besides the popcorn and the candy is jam and even then I wouldn't eat it on its own like on toast because that's made to go with peanut butter whenever we make PB&J sandwiches so aside from that this is not a strawberry flavored household I guess I discovered something today speaking of strawberry flavors um I do have another strawberry related item that is not an edible and Tokyo Disney Resort released two pass cases during the second wave. Of course, one was of Mickey and one was of Minnie. Now when I saw the Mickey one, I thought it looked really similar to the design of the candy tin. So I passed on that to get the Minnie one and here's what it looks like. Isn't this like the most amazing pass case ever? <laughs> Now believe it or not, and it's a real privilege to be able to call Tokyo Disney Resort my home park, but in all the years that I have been going to the Tokyo Disney parks, I have never bought a pass case until now. So this is my first Disney pass case ever. I especially love that it's not overly Disney, you know, like, so it's not like a full out depiction of a Disney character and there's no base design that shows those characters, but you have to take like a second glance or two to be able to notice that oh it's it's Disney because there are Mickey ears and this is obviously Minnie because it has her bow and I especially like the fact that for her ears they used like Danish cookies and of course here is a strawberry ice cream and a closer look will actually show you a hidden Mickey can you see it it's right here one very small hidden Mickey that is a strawberry chunk in the strawberry ice cream and then around here and the base are marshmallows I believe I want to say marshmallows because it's similar to the ones that are on the Mickey head of the candy tin and then I especially like this detail you have the ice cream dripping down and then here you have that logo of the pink pop paradise merchandise line it's so beautiful it's gorgeous here's the back it's of course of mini on the top corners you can see like short phrases uh, this one says G Wiz, and this one says too sweet to stop. And finally down here it says Tokyo Disney Resort. And you see more of that iridescent material for the pass case. And it might be difficult to see, but the strap also has some sort of iridescent sheen to it. Not as transparent, but there is like a, a sort of sparkle. To it there's some very light sparkling sheen throughout it 
I think it's a really nice choice of fabric. The zipper has this clear bluish ball at the end of it and it's a gold plated zipper and in the inside of it at the back there is a pocket for your ticket here and there's enough room for you to be able to put like your fast pass tickets um I would say even your cell phone yeah that's possible it's a good size it's quite roomy and what I love about it is it's not bulky which is one of the main reasons why I held off on pass cases for so long because a lot of them were bulky like they puffed out and I was already carrying a bunch of stuff around the parks. I didn't really want extra like baggage around me, but the fact that this flat um, makes it so that it is lightweight because it's plastic and it doesn't stick out so much on your person. For a pass case, I think it's pretty unique. I'm so pleased that this is my first one. So that finishes up the Pink Pop Paradise of the Tokyo Disney Resort. But that's not all the sweets related merchandise I have to share because not too long ago Daiso, um, which is a dollar store chain in Japan, just released their own brand of sweets related merchandise. And since the focus of this video is sweets related, I thought I'd like to share some with you. Um, this came out, I would say, around the beginning of June. Check this out. This is Daiso. So they had a whole bunch of different kinds of sweets going on, not just one kind of sweet like Tokyo Disney did. Their focus was on donuts, cupcakes, and ice cream. The donut one is the more colorful of the bunch because there are three, four different designs on it, as opposed to the cupcake design, which is really just of one design. And the same goes for the ice cream. I mean, Daiso has been really killing it with their um, designs lately. So I was particularly surprised to see these kinds of like artwork on their merchandise. I also picked up a memo pad of sweets, of course. And there were different designs. There was a pancake one and a donut one. And there's one more I can't recall or maybe that's it. Um, this one is the cupcake one. And on the front it says Yummy Cafe and Your Delicious Story. It kind of sounds like English. And you have three cupcakes decorating the front. There's a strawberry one, as it says here, indicated by the arrow. And then there's the blueberry cupcake and the love cupcake, whatever that means. <laughs> on the back, it shows you the different designs that are found in the memo pad. I find it funny that they had to indicate that there is only one of this particular design, which is the cover. And then you have 30 sheets of this particular design, 30 of this one, and 30 of this one, and they all have cupcake themes. So in total, this pad carries 90 sheets, which is pretty great for a dollar. That's amazing. And the fact that they have this quality of design can't beat that price. And there's one more item I picked up from Daiso. Again, it's sweets themed and to carry on with a the cupcake theme. But these are like sticky film strips. They're not made of paper. They're more made of like a plasticky kind of thing. And I like that each film has its own unique cupcake design. There is no repeating design here. So if you're into sweets related designs and you're in Japan, definitely check out Daiso. They are slaying it with this particular line. Um, on a side note, I'm thinking of maybe doing a giveaway on this channel and I'm wondering if anyone is really into these kinds of things or it's just me. This kind of design definitely appeals more to the Japanese kawaii culture so um, or maybe it's too kawaii for your taste and if you could have a chance to win this would you want it? So just let me know your thoughts. And that about wraps it all up for the sweets related merchandise that has been recently coming out at Tokyo Disney Resort and Daiso. And with that, thank you so much for sharing and spending your time with me. I hope you have a magical day and I'll see you in the next video.